What's up everyone? Redesign here. Hey, I got an idea I'd like to share with y'all. So I'm sure y'all seen one of these DC voltmeters, you know? Um, they operate 2.6 to 30 volt DC and get them on Banggood for about $1.99 a piece, which is not a bad deal because like, even if you could source all these components, you'd never be able to, uh, never be able to uh, make one of these for that amount of money or this professional. So these things are nice to have around. And uh, so typically, <clears throat> my needs are DC. So I don't really mess with AC unless I'm working on, you know, uh, installing an electrical outlet or something like that. But most of my hobby, most of the hobby stuff that I mess around with is just all DC motors, you know, LED flashlights, whatever. And um, sometimes you get really tired. You get really sick and tired of carrying one of these around all the time. And for the longest time, I just wanted something nice and small, you know, that fit in my pocket. And they, they got those, but usually they're like LEDs, you know, like yellow, uh, you know, like red, yellow, and green LEDs to tell you like the voltage is like 12 volt battery or something like that. Nothing really awesome. Nothing, you know, digital, not like an LCD, some, nothing like this badass. So I had a few of these and um, I was thinking, man, that's like the perfect ingredient. You know, and all I got to do is design an enclosure around it, and voila, I got a pocket meter, and that's what I actually call these things, pocket meters. So, what you're looking at right here, this is like the sixth generation, or the sixth version of my designs. So, you know, first first ones were kind of ugly, you know, wasn't wasn't sure where, where I was going with it, didn't know exactly what I, and that's the thing about research and development, you know, you try something, you know, you test it out for a, for a period of time, and then you say, hey, this it would be cool if this had something else, you know, another feature. And then you just, you know, add that feature. And then eventually, you know, you tweak it and you come up with a design that you like. And I'm confident this has all the design features that, you know, that, that, that I'm looking for. So let me go ahead and go over this real quick with you. I'll just show you very briefly um, what this thing's all about. So the first thing is, this is a safety cap, right? You, you squeeze in the sides and you push it in and it locks in place. Squeeze in the side, pull it out, it locks in place. And uh, what it's doing is protecting you from getting jabbed when you stick it in your pocket. Get jabbed by this finishing now. And that's all this probe is. And it's a positive probe, by the way. So um, this is really sharp so that you can punch it in it you know punch through the insulation of a wire okay so that's a probe um and the way i got this thing printed out um these lcds they just slide right in there and then i i usually use super glue to hold it all together but uh so um i created this spool to wrap wrap your wire around you know what i mean and in, in, in the top of it, you'll see this little groove. And all that does is it, it basically is like a pinch point. It locks this wire in place so you can get out the length of wire that you need. And, um, you know, lock it in place. And then you can, you know, if you're, you hook it to the ground of a circuit board and you're probing different different points, you know, it's, it's pretty handy. So it's, a, it's actually an accidental de design feature that I came up with. <clears throat> so this line's you know, pretty long, gives you quite a bit to work with. So you can, it's, I'd say it's a perfect length. Anything more would be too much. So once you wind this up all the way, lock it in place. And I got a little magnet embedded right here. And all that does is it holds this alligator clip, which is your negative lead, in place while it's in your pocket. So it's not flopping out and, you know, getting tangled up with stuff. It's just, you know, it was real easy to do. So I said, why not? Just... And I did it. Um, let me show you how this thing works. So it's essentially this, right? And um, I'm sure you guys already get the idea, but I'll just do a quick demonstration. So you hook the negative lead on a negative of whatever you're testing, chassis ground or whatever, and this goes on to positive. So there it is, and uh, 
I got about 50 of these. I'm not quite sure what to do with them yet. But um, as far as the files go, I'm actually working on um, a site that's going to include a lot of my other designs in STL format. So if you want it, you know, small fee, just, just you buy it and um, download the STLs and um, you got them forever. I was going to give these away for free, but if you guys actually knew the amount of time and trial and error that I put into these things, you know, and you know the way COVID's going, I don't know how long you know my job's going to be there because if they come out with crazy mandates, you know, I'm, you know, it is what it is. So I'm just trying to come up with like different revenue streams. You know, it's not going to be like it's not going to break the bank on y'all, but just for a couple dollars, you can download this, and um. I'll make a, a build video that shows you how to uh, assemble these and you can assemble one of these in like 20 minutes you know so let me know in the comments what you think of this and uh, yeah like share subscribe thanks guys